Hi, I'm going to show you how to do a VLOOKUP across multiple spreadsheets. You can also copy the VLOOKUP formula into different cells in your spreadsheet. And one of the best use cases for this is when you're trying to compile different data sets and you don't want to manually copy and paste all of the corresponding data for different items. So for example, let's just say we're a sales manager looking at our sales. So we have two sheets here. The first sheet is the actual sales that we've made. So we have a product ID and a quantity sold for each product. But in order to calculate how much revenue we've brought in, we need the price here. So we want to also know um, and have in this spreadsheet the prices for each product that we sold. That information is over in this product spreadsheet. So you'll see this same product ID column, but then we also have an item description, so what each product actually is, and the price per each unit. Obviously what we need to do is get this price over into this sales spreadsheet. Since these are all organized, we could copy and paste, but in a lot of real world scenarios, they're not gonna be organized in exactly the same order. So what you're going to want to do is use a VLOOKUP. Let's get started. To do a VLOOKUP, first of all, let's stay organized and label this. Um, so we're going to add this unit price label and let's add, hit our equal sign and then enter VLOOKUP and an open parenthesis. So this is going to start our VLOOKUP. So first we're gonna enter the search key, and this is the, the piece of data that's gonna be the same in both spreadsheets. So we want to tell it, if you see this product ID, we want to enter a search result here. So click on the cell that has the product ID or the search key, and then click a comma. Next, you're gonna select the range. And so this is where you want the formula to search. For us, this is over in this other spreadsheet. So we're gonna click over here and we're just gonna click and drag across all of the cells that contain the field that we wanna search in. Great, click a comma again, and then we're going to enter the index. This tells the VLOOKUP which column to find the results in. So remember, the range is where we're searching in here, and so this, we're gonna search for these product ID numbers. The index is where the search results are. It, you enter the index as a number, the number of the column within the range. So here we have column one, column two, and then this would be column three. So we'll just enter three. And you see it gives you a preview. That looks great because we want it to return a price. And then we're going to enter whether or not it's sorted. This is a true or false value. Since we want it to find an exact match, we're going to enter false and then hit enter. And it takes us automatically back to our spreadsheet. And we're gonna see that it has the unit price for the product ID 1000. We can double check here, $1,028 looks great. Now to copy this so that we can look it up for every item in this spreadsheet, we're just gonna click this blue dot and drag it all the way down. That's gonna copy our formula. And you're gonna see that it's adding absolute values or suggesting absolute values. This is really important. Um, that means the dollar sign in between that range, um, each column and row for the range. That makes sure that we get the correct information when we copy it into each cell. So we'll accept that suggestion and we're good to go. Now as a sales manager, I could create another formula here that you know multiplies the unit price by the quantity sold and I'd have my revenue.